Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a premiere video, and this is going to premiere on August 4th, which I am recording it a day early. I'm just uh, wanting to premiere it on August 4th, or something, time around then, uh, about midnight or so, around that time. So, this is for an album review, for the first Marathon Studio album review in Muse's discography. Um, this is for their first album, the 1999 album, Showbiz, that I just got done listening to for their, uh, 1999 album, their debut album. So I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this rock band's, uh, Muse Showbiz album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this album review. Now basically it starts with Sunburn, and I thought that was a pretty strong track, for sure. I actually like this one, but after this song, it just gets weird, this album, for sure. Um, like, I will mention why I think it's a little weird of an album. But still, uh, Sunburn is getting a 5 out of 5. Great opener to the album, in my personal opinion. And Muse... Pretty much did a pretty good job production wise and execution. Muscle Museum was a solid track. I wouldn't call it the best song in my opinion. There are some good moments in it, and then there's some weak moments with how the melody is sounding and Matt Bellamy singing in it. I know this is their starting point for their musical career. But this song, I don't know if it's gr going to grow on me or not. But for what it is, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 because it's solid. Philip, um, F-I-L-L-I-P, I believe is how you spell it, um, was another solid track. I don't know if I'm connecting well with this track, but sonically it sounds meshy meaning it's a little messy but not not in, to say in a bad way just in a way where Matt Bellamy's vocals are sounding a little weird with his high pitch vocals and this is where the album starts to kind of stumble a little bit but not too much to where I hate this album so 4.5 out of 5 Falling Down was a decent song. I'm just not really caring for this one. It's very mellow. And I know this is a solid for some people. They may like how it's sounding, but sonically for me and how I'm connecting with it, I'm just not that much. So 4 out of 5 for this one. Cave was actually a solid one. It wasn't that terrible, just... Matt Bellamy's singing is getting weird through most of this album, for sure. For After the first song, I was like, okay, now this is getting a little weird and underwhelming somewhat. <laughs> In my personal opinion, at least. So, Cave is getting a 4.5 out of 5. It's still a strong track, it just has its weaker moments from time to time, depending on which area in the song is the weakest. In my personal opinion, it might be the bridge or maybe the way Matt Bellamy is singing it. I don't know for sure, but yeah, Showbiz, the title track for the album name, is a solid one too. It's just got weird vocals from Matt Bellamy that I don't know if I'm really connecting with on a level that will make me enjoy this song. But the song is solid for what it is, so 4.5 out of 5. Unintended was another decent track. I'm just not feeling for the melody or Matt Bellamy singing that much, but I think it's eh, it's one of those decent songs you can say, okay, this isn't terrible, but for what it is, it's something. So, 4 out of 5. Uh... Uno was a pretty strong track, drum work-wise and guitar work-wise, but uh, Matt Bellamy's singing gets weird in this song, for sure, and kind of to the point where you're like, where is this album going? 
So, yeah, it has some weird wonky moments, this album, with some of the way Matt Bellamy is singing and some of the production and mixing is a little lacklusting a little bit. Not too much, but to the point where I might give it an average score. So, I will mention my rating towards the end of this review. Um, Sober was another solid track. I don't hate this song, I just would give it a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, it's not terrible, just, um, it has strong moments and weak moments. With Matt Bellamy singing, it gets weird, for sure. Quite a bit of these songs get weird with his singing in it, and the, his falsetto can be a little underwhelming at times with how it sounds, if you get where I'm coming from. But still, 4.5 out of 5. Escape is another solid one, so I'll give that a 4.5 out of 5. Overdue was a solid one too, 4.5 out of 5. Uh, not hating it, just has some weird pitches with Matt Bellamy's vocals, and it's sounding weird too. And the final track, Hate This and I'll Love You, is not a bad way to end the album, but has weird falsetto moments with Matt Bellamy singing, so 4.5 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution, I think Muse Showbiz album was an average listen in my personal opinion. Um, it's gotten positive to mix reviews for this album, but I don't hate this album. I just think it's almost good. It could have been something interesting, but I just wasn't feeling for some moments with Matt Bellamy singing through most of this album, but Sunburn was probably the strongest track, um... Uno and Sober had pretty strong drum work and guitar work, so I wasn't hating that about those songs. So, But the vocals from Matt Bellamy can, can get a little weird and underwhelming. So for a score for me, I'm giving Muse Showbiz their first album for their debut album a 7.5 out of 10. This was average. It's almost good. I'm praising it a little for at least trying something interesting, but it some of the songs aren't connecting with me. I think the only ones that are really not connecting with me are Falling Down and Unintended. They just have weird melodies and slow melodies, too. It's just not resonating with me in the way it should. So, still, 7.5 out of 10 for Muse Showbiz. It's an average listen. I recommend checking it out if you want to listen to something interesting it's worth checking out i guess so comment below let me know what you guys thought of muse's first studio album i did for their debut studio album showbiz if you've heard it and if you enjoyed this muse showbiz album review this will premiere on august 4th at midnight or around that time comment below and let me know your thoughts on it Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I'll have another review coming out um, for, I think it's going to be for Origin of Symmetry on Saturday. So definitely tune into that. Uh, it's going to be their second studio album. I heard a lot of good things about that album. And I remember listening to Muse's discography as I went along their whole discography. And I was not hating it mostly uh there were some songs i was impressed with and some albums i was impressed with and then there was other albums where they were kind of iffy to underwhelming so it just depends on the album i guess and how it structurally sounds and how i'm viewing it too as well so if you don't agree with this review that's fine i can understand where you're coming from but if you like this album that's great um, but still, at the end of the day, it's just my opinion, so, anyways, stay safe, guys, take care, hope you enjoyed this album review for Muse Showbiz, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible, and as always, I will see you in my next review.